Hi everyone, I'm Urban Girl and welcome to my channel. It's a cool 27 degrees but 81 Fahrenheit. <laughs> um, I've come up today because I've got to break camp down and uh, get everything packed away. I've still got a few days left of holiday but we've got workmen coming to the house and stuff so I'm going to be quite busy and I'm not going to manage an overnight. But not to worry. I'm here today, I'll get packed up. So, let's try and get cracking in this heat. I thought you might like to have a wee sense of the size of the garden again, um, now that the neighbours cut all the, the grass down for me, which is fantastic. Um, so, I'm standing, I'm away over at the very far corner now, um, and as you can see, that's the shelter over there. So, uh, um, and and the, you can see the the chicken, I call it a chicken house. I mean, don't know what it's for, but there's stuff in it. But anyway, um, I just call it a chicken house because it's got chicken wire on it. But there you go. That wee tree in the middle is the peach tree that we planted. So um, that's the only tree in the middle of the garden. All the rest of the trees are all surrounding the outside as you can see. So yeah, I think it's about 400 square meters. It's a really, really nice piece of land, um, but I can't really cultivate it um, at the moment because you really need to live here to be able to you know, stop all the weeds growing and all that. Um, and also, as you can see by the size of it, you really do need uh, machinery. You, you can't cut it with a normal, um, you know, lawnmower. And you would also need a rotavator to turn the soil, I would imagine. So, it is a wee tiny piece of homesteading. But for the time being, it's my camp. So, quite a few wee things to get done, uh, just to pack up. Um, probably take the tarp down first. And I need to pack up the lavu, and I need to pack up the hammock. I do want to make another wee fire though, um, test my fire lighting skills again. Um, make a wee lunch for Canteen Cup Tuesday. It is Tuesday. So, not too much to do, but, you know, <laughs> it is quite hot, so I thought I might as well just lie in the hammock for a wee bit <laughs> and chillax. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's disappointing about doing the overnight or not, because um, I can give myself any excuse about A, facing up to the fears, and B, facing up to the discomfort. I always find it, at the moment anyway, you know, there is a measure of discomfort in, in then an overnight camp. Um, making sure you're the right temperature, getting any sleep, needing to go to the toilet in the middle of the night, all those kinds of things that you take for granted when you're in the house. <laughs> but anyway, as it happens, um, I've got too many things to do before we go home. So, yeah. I have got a wee date in the diary um, next weekend to go camping overnight, um, but I'm not sure if I'll make a video for that one. It just depends. It is in a nice local wood, so um, we'll see. I will be taking the big tent with me, though. I'm not taking the lavu for that one. Anyway... I suppose I better try and get motivated <laughs> to do something. 
such a beautiful day. I'm so glad this hammock worked. That's really uh, cheered me up because it means at least I know now that these hammock straps work so they'll come in handy as well at home. It's obviously a bit more problematic at home because you get more wet weather and wind than you do here at the moment. But um, it inspires me. I might try the hammock with a tarp set up. I might try that when I get back home. Because it is very uh, relaxing and it's very comfortable. I don't think I would like it for an overnight though because, as I said, I don't fancy having to get in and out of a hammock to go to the toilet in the middle of the night. Well, shall we get up and at him and get something done? That's about an hour already. Um, so I've taken the hammock down and I've taken uh, the tarp down and put all that away. I've left a lavvy up for the time being. Um, it's kind of cloudy and sunny today, so I mean there isn't any rain forecast, but it's really humid, which is making it quite sticky. Hence the shiny face. <laughs> yeah. I've moved the fire as well because I want to just sit here next to the lavvy and uh, get that canteen cup on the go so I don't have any birch bark so I'm going to try something different today to get my fire started. I've processed up a wee bit of dry wood for the fire lay. I've collected all my different size sticks um, you know very small thin size pencil size and then up the way and I'm going to try um, and gather up some of the dry grass over here from the garden just to uh, you know try and make a wee bird nest type thing as tinder um i do also have some fatwood with me so what i'll do is i'll try and get some fatwood shavings off it as well to add to the dry grass hopefully that'll be enough dry tinder to get it started um yeah it's going to be absolutely melting up here with a, a wee fire on but it, it will help it will help keep some of the the flying insects away there haven't been too many mosquitoes this year, which is quite good, so... But, yeah, the flies are a bit annoying. So, that's the plan. Get the dry grass and uh, try and get the fire on. Just get a couple of these wee bits of fatwood to go, and then we'll get it going. Yes, go, go. Well, cheers everyone. Thanks for joining me during these adventures. I'm not going to uh, film the takedown for you. Um, it's just a lava that's to come down now anyway, so 
Just going to tuck into my lunch and then get packed up. Really pleased with that, another successful bushcraft fire, so I'm getting better. Thanks again for tuning in, I appreciate all your views and support. Do think about subscribing to my channel if you enjoy watching. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. I'm just an urban girl out having a bit of fun. Bye!